witches, Tiffany here on Bewitching.bemused. Today I am going to be unboxing a huge uh, witchcraft spell supply haul that I picked up on magicplanet.com. If you're interested in any of the items that I am pulling out and discussing, the links to them are down below in the description box. And if you are interested in shopping at Magic Planet, you can use the coupon code BEWITCHING5, that's the number five, for 5% 5 off of your purchase. One thing I really love about this shop is they have a huge selection. They have so many different things. Uh, the only thing I do recommend is they do list everything, even if it's out of stock. So that can be a good thing because what you could do is set up a notification so they will email you when the item is back in stock. You can also add it to your wish list in the meantime, but it can also kind of be a bad thing because sometimes you'll search for an item and it'll pull up 40 items, but only like five of them are actually in stock. But there is a little toggle on the left hand of the screen where you can select to show only the in stock items as well. On the actual individual items page, it's kind of hit or miss whether or not you're going to get a good description of the item. However, a lot of them do include lists of correspondences and uses. And if you go all the way down to the bottom of the website, they even have a link that you can select that will show you a full list of herbs, all of their uses and all of their correspondences. I think that's pretty cool. The one thing that I really wish uh, that the website had was ratings and reviews on the individual items, because I know that's something that when I'm shopping online, I make a lot of use of. The final thing that I want to say is that they do offer a rewards program, which is really cool because that's not very common with metaphysical shops. They also have this little pop-up wheel that will sometimes pop up on your screen when you go to the website and you can get, you can do that and get a coupon code or a free gift. If your order does not come with that free gift from the wheel, you actually get a free crystal with every order. Orders getting shipped within the US and that are over $50 get free shipping. So that's always a bonus. And if you are a broom closet witch or you don't want the neighbors like snooping, looking at your packaging on your porch, uh, they do just automatically have very discreet shipping. You don't have to worry about the boxes having a big old like, I'm a witch printed on it. Okay, this is my very first order from the shop. So I'm pretty excited. Let's check out what I got. I'm so sorry if I end up bumping the camera at all. <laughs> Let's begin. So the first thing I noticed was this, which I, for, at first I was like, I'm sorry, did they put like trash in my order? But no, actually I can feel that there's something inside here. So it must be the free, yep, it is the free uh, crystal that comes with it. I am not good at identifying crystals on site though. So I'm gonna have to look this up, but it's really pretty. I can tell you that much. <laughs> That. So like I mentioned, each order comes with a free gift of some sort. Um, most come with the free crystal. So this one was mine. Okay, they package this pretty well to keep everything safe. So a lot of my small items came in a big UPS envelope. So, oh boy, how am I gonna? Okay, we're gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there and dig in this way. Okay, let's see what I get first. Okay, we've got, oh, this is my scented candle. So this is, you know, almost anytime I do any kind of shopping, I have to resist buying another scented candle. And well, I lost the fight on this one. So this one is actually a rosemary and peppermint. Here's my hand for scale. It's just a little votive, which I don't mind because that prevents me from buying a gigantic, you know, $30 thing in a jar, candle in a jar. So let's go ahead and open this up and smell it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So the top mm, is peppermint and the bottom is rosemary. The peppermint is definitely stronger, but I mean, that's kind of not really a surprise, but yeah, just a nice little scented candle. Cause I'm obsessed. All right. What do we have next? I'm pretty much just reaching in here blind. This feels like, Oh, Oh boy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. We've got two ounces of dandelion root. So most of their loose herbs, uh, you can get them in one ounce, two ounce, or one pound. So there's a lot of variation kind of depending on how much you want to stock up on, how much you need. So that is the two, two ounces of dandelion root. Now I'll probably use this in some spell working, but it's, it's mostly for teas for me. 
Uh, dandelion root is great for divination and prophetic dreams. It's overall just kind of a psychic booster. Um, it also helps with stomach and liver problems, which, I mean, I don't really have. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, it can't hurt, right? And I'm always kind of looking for new things to add to my teas, make things more interesting, and just using tea in my uh, practice and my craft overall. So I wanted to buy some dandelion root to add to that. Next, we've got, oh, I believe this is my, yep, this is my rosemary bundle. I was just running out, so, you know. And, of course, rosemary is great for blessing and purification. It's just a great cleansing herb. I love the smell of rosemary. I'm going to smell this real fast. Hold up. Oh, yeah, that's definitely rosemary. Not that I was questioning it, but, you know, the scent is very distinct. <laughs> okay, next one. This, okay, this is the Tiffany Stone Obelisk. Let's get this bad boy open. Oh, wow, that is really wrapped in there. I had to test how sharp it was. I don't know if you saw me do that. I was like, is this sharp? I don't know how I feel about this packaging. <laughs> okay, it's open. Here it is. Boom. There you go. Ooh, I like that sound. So this is Tiffany Stone, um, also co called a uh, Bertrandite. Ber Bertrandite? I think that's it. Uh, or Purple Passion. It also has a, a, like a ton of other names, obviously. I prefer the name Tiffany Stone. So I got this for a few reasons. Uh, one, I mean, I, I kind of thought it was only fitting that I have a stone I share a name with. So that is definitely going on my altar. Two, it enhances psychic awareness. Um, so th th that I'm is something I'm working through the book Psychic Witch, which I will probably mention many times. There will probably be several things. There already have been a few. But there will be several things in this package that has to do with psychic ability, psychic awareness, prophetic dreams, lucid dreaming, remembering your dream. You get the point. But psychic awareness and intuition, those are things that I really need to work on. I really need to strengthen. So I figured, hey, I'm going to order some things to help back that up. This is also a stone that's great for communication, uh, releasing blockages, like emotional blockages or within your chakras, which is another thing that I'm working on. Also good for body, like physical healing, which is another thing I'm working on. Um, and it's also good in the bedroom. So, you know, bow, chick, bow, wow. uh, can never have too much of that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I keep bumping the camera, and I'm trying not to, but it's hooked up in a weird way. All right, what we got next? Oh, it's a black tourmaline bracelet. So these are just four millimeter beads. It's a tiny little delicate thing. I'm going to take it out. So black tourmaline is great for absorbing negative energy. Like, not you absorbing it, but it's... <laughs> it's great for absorbing negative energy on your behalf, I should say. So it's a really great tool for um, protection. It's just a elastic band. Got caught on my ring there. But I really wanted something that I could wear regularly, something simple, preferably for daily wear. And I thought something like this would be absolutely perfect. Okay. What do we have next? What is this? This is mugwort. Okay, so this is another two ounce package. Mugwort is great for protection, uh, inducing lucid dreams and remembering your dreams. Again, something I'm working on, astral projection. That's another thing that I'm working on and strength. Um, I actually ordered some teas that have mugwort in them from another shop that I'm going to do another unboxing for later. So this one, I'm not going to make tea out of. Uh, this one is strictly going to be for spell work. But I think that's a pretty decent amount that should last me a while. Well, we'll see how fast I go through it. Next up, what is this? It's a box. What are you? I don't know what you are. I don't remember what I ordered. Oh, I think this is my candle holder. Yeah, so you guys know I like to work with those little tiny, little mini chime candles. Uh, so I got this just because I needed something that would fit those little tiny candles. A lot of times I like to stick them on top of jars, but sometimes if I just burn them on their own, I I have a little holder, but I made it myself and it's, you know, kind of a piece of crap. So I decided to just go order one. This one's cute. It's just glass. It's green and it has a little tree on it. But yeah, here's the whole view of it. Ooh, I'm so excited that I have this. Another altar item. Okay. What is this? 
I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll open it and find out. It's so tiny. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be bigger. <laughs> But you know what? It's fine. I'm going to use it anyway. Uh, this is a black tourmaline pyramid. So again, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it's meant for absorbing energy. I, I was going to put this by my front door, but I'm actually tempted to just put it on my altar because I do like it. It's so tiny and cute. Oh, look at that. I should probably have looked more closely at the item description i don't mind i just i really did think it was gonna be like like fit in my palm not just this little baby guy but you know what black tourmaline is black tourmaline i will use it either way <laughs> okay i think i've got three more items that sounds about right what is this what is this okay Oh, my bee pollen. Okay, so this is one ounce of bee pollen, which again, that's a pretty good amount. Okay, so I have, this is actually the first time I am experimenting with bee pollen in my craft, so I'm pretty excited about it. Bee pollen is, it's bee pollen powder, and it is great for strength, overcoming depression, it's uh, friendship, not overcoming friendship, but just for friendship period, and overall happiness. This is also actually considered a superfood because it is packed with antioxidants, you know, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, fatty acids, protein, blah, 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 blah. It's believed, although, you know, it's not entirely proven just yet, that it can also assist with inflammation, improving immunity, allergies, weight loss, acne, wound healing, uh, preventing cancer, the list goes on. So this, yes, I will find ways to incorporate this into my craft, but I'm also very curious about using it in foods, probably in like my, my protein shakes, which by the way, the stuff on their website is uh, food grade. They do have food grade stuff. They have a whole list, like I mentioned, of different herbs and things and their uses. And most of those are marked if it's unsafe. Of course, always you know, do your outside research. Is this something that's safe to ingest? Is this something that's safe to burn before you go doing that stuff? Um, but most of their stuff on their website is food grade. Ooh, okay, this one's pretty. I think this is my oil. Open. Open. Ah, oh, there we go. Sometimes you just gotta say the magic word, right? Open. Yes, so this is a third eye oil. Is it leaking? I don't think it's leaking. Let's double check though. It is not leaking. I'm just crazy. Yes, so this is a third eye oil. It's, that's, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. And again, just for using it in conjunction with my uh, exercises that I'm following from the book Psychic Witch. I'm curious. I want to smell this. Interesting. It has like a very like minty, almost like menthol kind of smell to it. And it's blue. I was not expecting it to be blue. But yeah, you dab it on your third eye, meditate, go to sleep, whatever it is you're doing. And yeah. Okay, so the final item I'm pretty excited about because I've never actually owned one. Sorry for all the plastic crinkling. Da 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 da! It is a little Ouija. It's a mat. That's so cool. Yeah, so it's a little mat. The reason I... Hi, Lena. I hope you get sincere in the background. Uh, the reason I, I wanted this is because I primarily want to use it with my coven. Hold on. Let me take it out of this thing. The material on the back of it is just sticking to the plastic. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so cool. This is basically the material of like a mouse pad. Um... And it has the little grippy on the back, so it kind of is firm on the surface or, you know, grips the surface. And it comes with a little wooden planchette. I didn't want anything too crazy. A, I want to be able to travel with it, take it to coven meetings. Um, but also, it, this is my first one. I've never bought a Ouija board before. And so I wanted something that's kind of bugging me that that's off center, but whatever. <laughs> But I've never had a Ouija board before. Um, ideally, I want to get a big old chunk of wood and like wood burn and carve my own. I don't think I'll ever actually do that, but I would love to. Just like the one that they have in Charmed, you know, the original series. Wait, hold up. It comes with a little 
A little guidebook. I'm actually very curious what's in this. Because there's a good chance it's either really informative or it's really cheesy. So let's see. Spirit Communication Board. People have always been fascinated by the idea of communing with spirits. Starting in the mid-18th century, a passion for spiritualism gripped first Europe and then America. Professional... Okay, yeah. I, I know all that. <laughs> The spirit communication board can be used by one, two, or three people. Why is it only that number? Why is it like a max of three people? That doesn't make sense to me. Hold up. Prepare yourself mentally and emotionally to receive the messages you are about to request. We don't know how easy or difficult it is for spirits to reach out through the veil, so be as helpful, grateful, and respectful as you can. If you have a specific spirit in mind. It, this is interesting. Okay. I'm just, I was just more curious than anything else. Be sensitive to when the session feels like it's over. Okay, I mean, that's interesting. I was I was really just more curious than anything else as to what it said. I mean, that's pretty decent for a little instruction pamphlet. There's nothing about protection in here, but, you know, I, I guess that's fine. I might hang on to this, mostly because I, I like the artwork on this, too. Okay, great. That's all my stuff. Now I got to pack it away before my boyfriend comes downstairs and is like, how much money did you spend? <laughs> Just kidding. He doesn't care. Okay, witches, that's everything for today. Don't forget, if you liked any of those items and you're thinking about picking some up for yourself, the links are down below in the description box. And of course, finally, it's magicplanet.com and your coupon for 5% off is bewitching5. The number five, bewitching and the number five. Uh, I don't think you can use it in combination with any other coupons, just FYI. So if you do get that little pop-up wheel and you get a better deal, hey, there you go. All right, don't forget to like, comment if you have anything to say, uh, subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you all soon.